Hello everyone. Today we're going to be making the Dirt Nap Express by Seemingly Wicked. I'm going to be making the Claudia size. Um, just quickly go over all your supplies that you need. Um, uh, number five zipper tape. I haven't cut it yet because I don't like having extra little pieces. Um, we got our snap our snap tab. I've already prepped it sewing both pieces together and putting a piece of interfacing where the snap's gonna go. Um, I don't have like a grommet thing that the pattern calls for so I just add a snap hook which I've already prepped. And then um, I have my ribbon for my card slots. This I just actually picked up at Target today because I ran out. Um, the pattern calls for I believe two or two and a half inch ribbon. This is one and a half, which is what I used before, and it worked just fine. Um, and then I accidentally uh, forgot to put interfacing where the snap was going on my other one. So I have two, and I wanted to make sure that. Um, and all the um, measurements for that is in the pattern. Uh, I have my metal snap that I will be putting in off camera because I don't like hammering on my table. And then I have my rivet I'm going to use, double cap rivet. I believe that's an 8 millimeter. This is the snap pack that I have from Amazon. I can find it, I'll link it. Um, I've prepped my outside pieces with the card slots already cut. Um, reinforcing my snap hole where that's gonna go. Double stick tape. My sewing machine does not like double stick tape, so I'm using an eighth inch from uh, geekyhardware.com. I'll link it below. Um, the one thing I do differently is I do not put a lining piece on the top where the zipper is because it's so small. I don't really think it needs it, but on the bigger ones, I would definitely would do the lining piece. So I just have my lining piece to put on the bottom. Um, so let's get started with the card slots. I'm going to put all these little pieces away so they don't get lost. There's my eighth inch double stick tape. <laughs> Um, and I'm sewing upstairs because my husband's gaming downstairs. Um, so let me just move this down so you can see. And I will be, um, you have the option to either tie off your strings and not back tack um so it looks a little bit neater but I'm just gonna back tack so you're gonna have the raw end of your fabric or your ribbon if you want to use fabric I know a lot of people I think have used uh jelly rolls for like quilts and stuff um so we're gonna just keep it as straight as possible and we're gonna stitch underneath that first card slot. And I have tile floor under me, so hopefully my <laughs> pedal doesn't move. Just one back stitch. Um, 
So I did back tack, but I'm still pulling it to the back. I'm just not gonna try and tie it off. And I'll melt it also. So there's the first one. And then you're gonna drop, you wanna keep the ribbon as straight as possible. And you're going to drop the ribbon down and then you're gonna fold it back up again. So I'm gonna get another piece of double stick tape that I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna keep out of where I'm sewing. And I just want it the And she gives you a measurement of an approximate approximation of where you should fold it in the pattern. And I'm just going to double check it. Somebody's mad because she's supposed to be getting, having quiet time getting ready for bed. And she's already brushed her teeth and she's asking for food. Okay, so before I, well, I guess I'm going to take that. That looks like a good spot. So I will go ahead and sew underneath just like we did before. Okay, so now we have our second, well, we have our first complete card slot holder. And then we're gonna do it again. Where I'm just taking my ruler and lining it up with the card slot for the distance the recommended distance and then um, holding it up that way. Except I need another piece of double stick tape. So we're going to put another piece of double stick tape outside of where I will be sewing. If your machine can handle it, you can definitely put it right up against the card slot.
tape was coming off too. I had to secure that a little bit better. All right, so now we're gonna stitch again underneath that top card slot. Okay, and then we have to make our final one. And you probably want to double check your card every time, but obviously I just forgot to do that. But I think it'll be okay. And then I'm just going to secure this while I grab another piece of double stick tape. Actually, I probably don't need another piece. And then I'm going to stitch it on the top of that card slot. And I'm gonna go this way to get it like the same distance. slots all done Okay, so I'm going to cut this ribbon off and I'm going to I'm gonna bring my fray check. So I'm using this uh, glitter canvas from, it's really thin. It's not like regular canvas. It's from Micri or Micri World or something like that. Um, so you could definitely do this on, I'm going to hope I don't like totally melt this. Um, but because it's not regular canvas, I actually took my fray check and I went all the way around the edge on all of my cut areas um to help keep it from like it doesn't fray fray but it does get a little stringy every once in a while here and there um so that's what i did but i don't have an industrial one day i will have an industrial um and these are just my good old target gift cards checking 
checking. Oh, see, that's going to be close right there. Hmm. Maybe. I think it'll be okay. Hopefully. If not, I'll be making another one. Or just don't do your hole ahead of time. So what I do now is we're going to set the male part of the snap. And I have my um, interfacing and shoot, I wonder how. Hmm. I might have to go get my other hole punch too. Because when I punched the first hole, I was able to um, go through the card slot, but I can't do that. I think this will be okay. Yeah, I got it. And this is... I got it, I'm sure I got it on Amazon, but it says the beadsmith on it. I don't know if you can see with the lighting and the glare, but it has like all these different kind of holes. Um, and like I said, I'm going to set this off camera, you might hear me banging. I did bring, yeah, I brought my hammer. Um, but we're gonna set the mail piece, which I'm just looking at the directions really quick. This piece. So that goes with that. And this goes with this. Okay. So, and I don't think this is big enough. We'll see. I might have to like. This isn't quite big enough. I'm going to have to get a bigger hole punch, I think. I wonder if I can just... And I did not. I just spray basted the interfacing. Okay, so here we go. Be right back. Beautiful. I'm gonna have to cheat again with this other one too. So now I have all that and I'm going to, this one did not hold. melt all my ends but I think my ribbon's melting too so 
So this is also thinner than vinyl, so you just have to be extra careful. careful. And also what I like to do is put, I'm sure this is a little excessive, but I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue, tiny bit right over, except it's like, I don't want the glue I could because yikes. I usually just spray paste it, but since it just keeps like no, I'm not going to because then it'll make like oh jeez. <laughs> Let's hope I can get that open. So it'll be fine because now. So I'm gonna set these aside and we're gonna do the zipper panel. So I put double stick tape around the edge and that where I'm gonna sew to help hold my zipper in place. And like I said, I'm not gonna put the lining on the top. On this top piece to cover the zipper in because the zipper is not going to fray or anything. And this is the smallest one, so I don't really think you need it. but you can definitely add it if you want. I just have to flip it up. Actually. You wanna make sure your zipper is centered and not gonna be poking out the edge. Let's see how far. Hmm, I'm gonna go a little bit quicker. Okay, that's good. And I have my zipper pull hanging out so the zipper stays closed while I'm sewing it. So I'm actually going to start over here and I'm using like an uneven like narrow foot and I want to make sure I'm not going to be sewing on my double sided tape. Uh, let's start down here.
And you definitely, if you don't want to like, if you don't care about your little pieces of zipper. <laughs> but I like being able to sew with it closed and then not have extras. So. If you want, you can also do like a a stay stitch on the zipper. Um, instead, so it doesn't like spread. I singe that. I'm going to singe this now. So it doesn't fray. And I'm also going to singe my thread on the back. Now, this is kind of it because I'm not doing that inside. So this is where you would put the other lining piece on. But since I'm not doing that, where did my other pieces go? Oh, okay. Toss them too far. So what you're gonna do is center as much as you can and the lining is a tiny bit smaller than the the exterior so this is going to be so if you're doing a sandwich lane, you have right side, right side, and you're putting the right side of your lining piece to the wrong side of the top zipper piece. And I don't know that I brought enough clips up. So I don't know when you're going to be watching this, but last year it was New Year's for us and we let our kids stay up. And they slept in, that's totally fine, but now they're tired, not wanting to go to bed, you name it. 
they're suffering today. Plus it's like <laughs> the coldest day of the year. Uh -huh. My father-in-law posted that on Facebook today. Very funny. But it was like the high was negative. It's negative nine right now. And I think the high was like maybe negative two if we're lucky. And I don't have another piece. So, and also this is where I'm going to add my clip off. Where's my clip? So I made this for my friend's daughter last year and her, she wore it as a lanyard, but I had it over on one of these sides and it fell out. Like this just fell out a couple weeks ago. And um, so I was gonna fix it for her and rivet it in there so it was more secure. And then it got stolen. <laughs> her whole wallet like she had it on the counter or something and somebody stole it so I'm just making her obviously a whole new one instead of fixing the one that I can't fix because it's not there anymore um, but I'm gonna add it at the top where I'm gonna put the rivet for the flap so hopefully it'll be a little bit more secure and I gotta be careful because I'm going over like extra layers here so I'll we'll start on this side and we're just gonna stitch all the way around and I'm gonna push this down as much as possible it is like really thick right there what oh it's because the zipper I'm Undo your zipper and then uh, like it'll push it out of the way. So here we go all the way around. because my hump jumper is downstairs. Since you're coming towards the bottom now, move your zipper back up to help everything lay flat. And depending on how long, like where your zipper landed, you may hit it. I did not. So it just depends on where you have your zipper. And I'm gonna move my zipper back to the bottom again since I'm coming up this way. Okay, 
with my little tail and then trim down. And I'm gonna singe that. And I'm gonna make sure that all my pieces from my lining so you can't even really tell unless you're really digging in there that there's no, I mean, yeah, there's no lining on the top, but it's kind of bummed. I couldn't, the other one I made, I had, uh, I forget what it's called. It's little skeletons as the lining fabric, but I couldn't find it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to like even all of this out. And if you're using thicker vinyl, you can like edge coat or kind of do whatever. Um, and like I said, I left my rivet press and the something else downstairs. But I need to attach this here, which will go I'll attach with the rivet, so I'll go do that and then come back up and show you. And then, oh my gosh. I am back. I had to switch my rivet size. I was trying to use a smaller one, but because I have this extra layer in there, I switched to, I believe it's... I believe they're from Sally Tomato, but I'm not 100% sure, and it's the large size. Um, and then also, I did the snap, the female side of the snap, down here. So, there's this, there's the ribbon that I did, and now there's this. And the zipper on this side. And I should have sewn my tag. Like, I have flat lay tags, and I should have sewn them right in there. Or one of the other ones there. But that is the completed Dirt Nap Express by Seemingly Wicked. Super cute, super fun, super quick. If I didn't have the interruptions for my kids. Um, but yeah, go... Um, Find the, I'll link the pattern below so you can, you guys can download it. She has a cute one. I forget the name of it off the top of my head. I think it's like Love You to Pieces. It's a free one that's um, just basic keychains sewing the two pieces together. But that's free on her website also that I think I'm going to try out next. She's got different shapes. That's super fun. Um, if you like the video, please like, subscribe to my channel. I'm hoping to grow it as much as I can this year. So wish me luck in that. And again, thanks for watching. Go uh, buy the pattern, make some up. There are the three different sizes. This is the smallest size, um, but like perfect for a lanyard. Super cute. Um, again, thanks for watching and we will see you next time. Bye.